Welcome to Azure Marketplace one on one, a series of short videos on Azure Marketplace. The idea here is to help you understand Azure Marketplace and guide you through selling your solution on Marketplace. My name is Mayur Tendulkar and I am a customer engineer with Microsoft India. You can reach out to me on my social media coordinates displayed on this page. So let's get started. In this video, I am going through I'm going to walk you through creating and configuring Azure table to collect customer leads from Azure Marketplace. When we are on this uh, offer setup page, uh, we can provide the areas, we can provide some setup details. For example, uh, if I want to host Microsoft, um, if I want to allow Microsoft to host all the transactions on my behalf, or I want to, you know, make the, uh, make the offer, contact me offer. I can also provide a test, right? The most important part over here is uh, when we are providing uh, this uh, or we are setting up this offer, we need to provide a connection to a CRM system so that we, uh, you know, we can collect uh, the customer leads. So when I click on edit over here, we have different options. For example, we can provide Azure table uh, where uh, customer lead information can be sent out. We can use dynamic, uh, Dynamics 365. Uh, Marketo, Salesforce, or even we can use uh, Azure Function or Logic App related HTTPS endpoint where uh, this information will be sent. So for the simplest reason, uh, you know, if uh, you are not aware of these systems or if you don't find any integration point over here, we can go ahead and create an Azure table and use it. So here I am going to provide Azure table as a, my lead destination and I am providing my email, uh, email alias over here. Now uh, we need to provide something called as storage account connection string. Now let's quickly go to Azure portal and see how we can create a Azure storage account and use uh, a connection string, which we can be, you know, uh, use here uh, to collect the lead destinations. So I'm on the Azure portal over here and I can go to the SaaS marketplace, which is my uh, resource group where I have created all the, um, all the resources related to the SaaS application. And let me say I want to add storage. So we have this option of storage account. So let's create the storage account over here. So I'm using the same resource group. Let me give it a name as uh, SAS, something that sort of. Uh, the location is, let's say, uh, it's okay for me. Uh, in this region or we can say Central India. It's a standard uh, Rest of the things I will keep as it is public endpoint uh, If you want to you know turn on the soft delete and all that stuff uh, We can keep everything as it is uh, the tags and Let's say uh, this this is the final information that we have. Let's go ahead and create it. So it will take about a minute or so to create this uh, storage account for us. So let's wait for it. So it has created the storage account for me and I can see uh, the deployment is succeeded. So let's go to the resource. So this is my storage account, uh, which is configured here. I can go to the access keys. And these are the keys that I have. So let's say show key and I will copy the connection string, which is, uh, you know, displayed over here. So we can come here, paste this connection string over here and click on validate. And once it says that you are successfully connected to the lead destination, we can say connect and new customer leads will be provided uh, in that uh, storage account. Now I have already configured one storage account, so I am not going to change it over here. Let me quickly show you how the customer leads looks like. So when I go to the Azure Storage Explorer and connect to that same storage account, you can see the partition key, row key for each customer and the product ID, uh, then customer info. So these are all the tests that I have uh, executed on my behalf. So you can, you will mostly see all my details over here and I can see the lead source, action code, uh, publisher display name. So, so you can get all the information related to all your customer leads right in the uh, Azure Storage Explorer uh, uh, from uh, Azure table. Now, if you want to process this further, you can create a logic app, which can automatically send you an email whenever there is a new customer, uh, uh, customer lead in the Azure table and you can uh, immediately start taking the actions. 
So this is in a nutshell, you just need to provide the connection string over here in the customer leads and you're good to go. So that's pretty much I wanted to show you how you can set up uh, customer leads using Azure tables. Once again, thank you for watching this video. My name is Mayur Tendulkar uh, and we are going through the Azure Marketplace one-on-one, -on -one a series of short videos on Marketplace. Thank you. Thank you.